And my father died when I was a year and two months old. I don't know no daddy because my mother alone, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, she was a she was a very nice woman, but she was rough growing up. She growing up children. She was really strict. If I slip and I slide, don't know where that go. Yeah. So lick, and I used to run. A whole lot. You? <laughs> me, I was afraid of flagging. Believe you me, me afraid to do Really? Uh, yeah, I was so afraid. But I used to try to do my best. But you know, sometimes I was beat me. You sleep on your... Yeah. You know, but my mother beat me. Lord God, my mother... One day I remember I had a piece of rubber in my mouth. It was chewing up and down. So I like to hear the sound of the rubber when you're chewing up. My mother continued telling me to take it out of my mouth because <laughs> some black water came out of my mouth and I had to spit, but I picked him a lovely hair. And then I can remember one day, man, man, when I had to this man, and she called me about three times and told me to take you out. I mean, that, as he told me, I'm slippery. I'm, I'm slippery. Yeah. I got back with the other man. She never called me the third time. Mm -hmm. In this come and take something and drag you out of my mouth and throw my teeth fly out. Really? As she was a book. Wow. That's the way. She did love me, but she yeah. gave me some good little you know, man. Mm -hmm. That I <laughs> my granny fought. Sometimes I'm mean, granny have to save me. Oh God. Yeah. So that's the reason why you had to grow I your my children like that because I didn't even recognize so you, you, you love your children. Yeah. But you want them to come out the best. Right. You understand? Know, you want the best out of them. But you know, Penny is obedient. You tell them not to do the and then continue for their do it and all of that. And then do it for them time. And then do it for them time. All for the time they take a good thing. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> I bless God in your home. When sometimes tell us, Mama, some pain may I feel, I don't have a soul like what you do. I mean, I don't even recognize Right. At the time, you never noticed. Yeah. And I tell them, I'm sorry, but. Um, in the time my mother grew me back that the kind of year. Strict. Yes. She was strict. Yes. Mommy means very strict. Mm -hmm. Sunday evening time them always got the church at all here because I'm in the house. Oh. And uh, Sunday evening time children always go out there and play ball and you know how we go for it. I have to stay over board, over where you see dread leaf mm -hmm. or so over there in your mother to make my, my grandmother yes. and her husband. Okay. okay. And if me left from there and go out there, walk where you see Betty and him house there. Mm -hmm. And I said it's there. It was like a coffee walk. Oh, okay. So we always go out there. And if I ever, Mama said, no go out there. And if me ever sleep where I go out there. Jesus Christ. So sleep. I could not have no fun with the children like that. No. And I remember one night, I slid on myself and Kathleen was playing, running around the meat house. Mm -hmm. They play hide and seek and they run around and so. And me and sh one of them, me and Carly, me and Kathleen, come in collegiate. And then we meet up and film here, so. But if you look, you see so many dogs. Mm -hmm. um, How am I? Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus, my mother said, go and put the salt in ice. Like, seriously. Oh! 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 <laughs> I mean, Mimi said she's serious. I mean, to see me. Auntie Lou. So she put it, the salt no, on it? No, Auntie Lou said not tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Auntie Lou said no, you can't do that. So you take that and you raise your kids. So is it, was it easy to find like food because they said they were fatherless and all of them something? Oh, so it why, how will you get food to feed them? Big payment or not payment at time. After all, I got to go you. I want to walk over here. I want to go there because I, I love here. To I, well, I and want to hear. To the market mm -hmm. and sell on Saturdays. And then buy food. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, I don't care about that. You can get food feed. I don't want to go back there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. remember, you always love to tell us about um the Sunday when you never have any food to give them. And Jesus, they... I must company your contact and like that girl. Yes. You must to encourage so other people. To let them know that it, the situation will never be the same. You grow as time goes by with whatever you go through. I used to plant a little garden mm -hmm. anywhere. Could, like over Mount Hedgecombe, mm -hmm. we used to plant like bean and cocoa and stuff like that. So I remember one Saturday being very sick. have one bean walk down a long grass. Mm -hmm. And I went down there this Saturday and I picked a basket of beans. Sugar bean, 
Boy, no money not there for buy. Not even salt. Sugar, no, not at all. But I call the children, all this. I said, when I have anything, something I said, call all of them and ask them what I would like for dinner or something like oh, that. Okay. And then they would suggest or whatever mm. they say, that's what I do. You understand? Yeah. And um, that Sunday morning, I called them and I said, nothing is in the house. Nothing is in the house except for the being so that's what I'm going to be doing. And we're all going to sit down and eat and enjoy, right? And that's what I did. We cooked the bean. Just like how it was, somehow I come up and the tree with this facade. And I put a green pepper in it. And that's it. And we sit down and we eat and drink. I mean, we're all for Oh my and God. I was a bean, a lot of bean, a lot of sugar bean, a lot of bean in basket, bamboo basket, we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So you have no regret, even though... I have no regret now. Even in those days, I used to feel bad because you was a sinner, you know? Oh, no, you I weren't was, a Christian, was that? I wasn't a Christian, no. So, how you used to behave then? Because you, you must feel like miserable. That. Yes, sometimes you're miserable and all of that, and sometimes you get out to the children because of the situation. Yeah. But then after growing up, and I mean, recognizing it happened to other people and yeah. so on, and then you could have to buy, I'll send the coconut and then we make food and mm -hmm. all to send them to school, we have to boil coconut oil ourselves. Oh. But this revelation is a chapter we part me did for it, but yes. oh no, I'm not afraid for really. If I see what the Lord say now, nah, yes. and it's happening. It's happening. So if you know one, believe you when you're here, you're in your business. Yes, that's true. You understand what I mean? Yes. But I just want to make it. Yes. I yes. want to make, make it. Make it in. Yes. My, by myself, I can't do it, mm -hmm. but with God, with all things are, are possible. possible. I love him. He's so sweet. I love He's him. Amazing. Hi, He's amazing. He's amazing. I'm excited sometime about God. Oh my God. Oh my God. When he made my cookie pass through. Yes. And he made my rough Wrong, smooth. Your wrongs right. You understand yes. my rough smooth, you understand? And he made my wrongs right. I mean. Oh Come taste and see, it's so good to trust God, like yes. God. You can't, you yes. know, know the love of God, I know. Until, until when you accept him as your personal you self, that, you know. Mm -hmm. And when he show up himself to you. And when he do things for you, I yeah, tell you. That's our Jesus. It's too much. It's too much. So much. Well, today is one of the most exciting days for me. Um, as I said before, Coming, sitting with my grandmother and to hear where she's coming from and knowing how much she loved the Lord and my mother joining me today again. We just want to say thank you viewers for watching and the behalf of Etik Boss and Sister Petra. Have a lovely day.